Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I'm sharing two in one phone cases. For the first one, I'm going to be using my white paint and this really stained phone case. It used to be clear back in the day, but I use it so much that it's like stained, but it works and I paint it anyway, so I'm okay with it. Feel free to start with a white phone case to begin with, palette thing, and then my brush. I use this brush that is like for foundation actually, but I use it to paint like larger areas and I use this as opposed to like a crafts one because I find the bristles like softer. Painting my phone case, I'm covering the whole thing, starting with the edges and then once I cover most of the front, I'm going to be placing my phone case on like two bottles of paint and then just go from there. Giving this two to three coats until it's like opaque enough. Here starts the fun. I'm going to be using my black acrylic paint and this undatting tool. This is a toothpick holder because I'm going to be using my toothpick as a brush. Using toothpicks to paint or as datting tools, they work wonders. And how I'm going to be painting my roses, I'm going to try my best to like explain how I did this. I'm picking the paint with my datting tool or my toothpick and then just dragging my paint in a zigzag motion in small strokes kind of like a round zigzag obviously not pointy as zigzag but again in like short stroke i try to make two kinds of roses one is just like the strokes longer my paint at the end is just less thick because it's just whatever is left on the toothpick and in other ones I just did like the shape of them in like shorter strokes but like kind of like the same amount of paint all over that stroke if that makes sense. My lips are just curved line, the other one is the same and then one stroke in the middle. I love how I'm explaining things you guys but hopefully watching what I'm doing makes more sense than me trying to explain what I'm doing. I'm going to be painting roses and uh, leaves all over the place until it's covered and then I'm going to be adding some glitter using this one, my dotting tool and I'm pretty much going to be adding like the sparkle the glitters one by one all over the place. Picking them with my toothpick, just adding them in like those empty spaces. Feel free to add more, add less, paint the whole background and glitter, but I just prefer to add a few of them like this. I'm going to be adding some gloss, it's like a spray. You can add other types of glosses and feel free to work with like nail polish gloss. I don't like to do that because I get dizzy with uh, the smell of it and it takes way longer to dry than this one. If you're going to be working with this gloss though, just make sure that you're like far apart because if you're too close to the phone case, it kind of like gets yellowish. And yeah, this is it for this first idea, the complete one. I did the same thing but for a clear phone case. That means that the drawing is going to be inside the phone case using one of those papers to print photos. That I'm using this one because I couldn't find white cardboard anywhere in the house and I just wanted to work with what I had. Place your phone case and trace the shape of it with your pencil, cut the shape and then just paint it. And the rest is pretty much the same. That goes inside the phone case and that's it for the clear one. But yeah guys, I'm sharing both because I couldn't decide if I wanted the whole phone case to be painted or if I wanted to share the clear idea but i hope you like it anyways it's really easy to make and so much fun to paint and they look really cute and i really like them both let me know if you prefer the whole phone case painted would you like it better when you can still see the clear phone case i really hope you like them both or any of them and found this helpful if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up check out more phone cases and more stuff that i have on my channel or subscribe for more let me know what you think of this one and share this thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye